Hey, honey. It's dinner time. It's dinner time. <laughs> I have a mini Bible, which is just the New Testament, King James Version, of course. Not sure if that's authorized, but um, I, I listen and read along, and I, I, it's matched so far. So, um, And this is, I do believe this is an authorized King James Bible, you guys. Uh, let's see. Diligently translated from the original tongues and revised in careful comparisons with existing texts. That sounds authorized to me. Um, King James Holy Bible. This one's about the size of a DVD, and it's about the th it's it's thicker than a DVD though. It's about eh, over a half inch thick, I'd say. It's about yeah, about five eighths of an inch thick. By and if you guys use metric, uh, too bad. <laughs> You'll have to do the conversion yourself. It's about a, uh, let's say eight inch by by six inch by five eighth inch thick Bible, and it's a complete King James Bible. And I've got, and I will, if you guys truly do need a Bible and you don't just want one but you need one, um, I will send you one for full freeze. Um, so uh, just let me know. Rejoice and be glad, for this is the day the Lord has made. Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm hoping that I'm hoping my family members watch this, and this is also a comfort to all you guys out there, because I know all of us are going through hard times right now. All of us are being um, tempted and belittled, and our family members might be attacking us. Maybe not. People are um, turning our back on us. People are feeling offended by us. YouTube is, I've talked to a bunch of people that have YouTube channels and um, YouTube is unsubscribing people from us and they don't even know they're, un they're being unsubscribed from us. And, um, you know, so YouTube is on the attack, of course. They're attacking real Christian channels too. So um, I've confirmed this through other YouTube channels that they are being attacked and they are taking away subscriptions like just suddenly <laughs> and, and it's a really big it's really obvious when it's like one of your one of your closest friends that subscribed to you um and, <laughs> and it's like well I know he wouldn't unsubscribe to me without telling me why so I, I know it's all false so all you brand new YouTubers out there um they are suppressing Christian YouTube channels I know that it's obvious they they won't advertise you as much if not at all and only through the grace of God have, have I had as many as I have, which for some that's none, but whatever. Um, and I'm do, I do this for God. I didn't even want to create this channel. I just want to put that out there. Like Swift Passage said, same here. Like I had no, when I, when I came on YouTube, it was reluctantly kind of, because I'm just like, oh man, I don't know what I'm doing. And I was nervous and everything else. And, and I was led to do it anyway. I had messages from the Lord to, to, to send out there. I learned a lot of lessons along the way, absolutely. But, hey, you know what? Um, it is what it is. I do the Lord's will. Uh, it's it's His will, not mine. I have I take very little pleasure in this, other than sometimes it even comforts me. And knowing the fact that sometimes my message comforts people, I have no desire to belittle anyone or or uh, make anyone a stum make a stumbling block for anyone or try to tear down anyone's faith or try to argue with anyone. Um, if you want to argue, that's your prerogative. Um, that's a sign that you're either still a baby Christian or you, or you honestly need to seek salvation and you have a spirit of religion in you, possibly, and not the Holy Spirit. And it's time, it's time to fully surrender yourself to Jesus in that case. Like, could you be saved, born again? Yes. And just stumbling horribly? Yeah. And there are some people like that, I'm sure. Carnal-minded Christians, like in 1 Corinthians 3. Paul, Paul talks about that and how hard it is to reach them uh, because they're still in the they're still worldly thinking partially because they just don't know any better they haven't absorbed enough information yet to know any better and they'll learn if they are truly born again they will learn they will be guided by the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of them it takes time and it usually depends on how willing you are how how much love you have in your heart for the Lord and how often you you dedicate to him That's about right, yeah. Yes, it's true. Someday you'll have to make sandwiches for a man. Greetings, 
YouTube, my brothers and sisters. This is Tom L with the Tom L Christian Channel, and uh, I'm just taking a hike. Taking a hike. Um, uh, well, as you know, it's Halloween on today, and I don't really care about that anymore. Ever since I've been saved, it's just like, okay, well, that's kind of dumb. People say that's innocent. I don't think it's innocent. You're celebrating evil. You're celebrating death. You're celebrating. You're celebrating everything that's not holy. I just don't agree with that. But if you guys want to do it, whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna crucify you over the matter. I'm not gonna split hairs with you. However, I myself am convicted not to do it. So, do you want? If you don't, don't, uh, don't be offended or let me or or be stumbling off that comment that I just made. That's just my personal opinion. I just feel convicted not to celebrate it. And I also feel convicted not to focus on the elections. I also can feel convicted strongly not to, not to focus on anything else but Jesus Christ right now and his coming return because I know he's close. Um, the signs are around us. Nothing else must be fulfilled before he comes. He can come any time now, and I just feel like he's going to come any time now. And I've been being attacked like crazy. My energy's been drained like a bunch of mental head games. It's been hard to pray and communicate with the Lord at times, although I did. It, it takes a, It's a lot harder to do it now. It's a lot harder to concentrate. They're even making it hard for me to concentrate and read the Bible, although I finally did gather some strength and do it. So and now that I have, of course, I feel much better because you're supposed to read the Word every day, consume the Word, re recharge, your, recharge yourself spiritually. Absolutely. Amen. If you're covered by the blood of Jesus, if you've received the Holy Spirit and you're sealed, you're going to you're going to experience trials and tribulations and troubles, and you're going to experience things like this. Some in dreams, some in some in the physical manifestations of illnesses, and other family members and, and friends attacking you and turning on you and people questioning you and people giving you a hard time. You might even get thrown in jail for for uh, preaching the word of God. Who knows? But the point is, there's many different types of trials and tribulations that many of the saints are going through, many of the actual sealed saints are going through, the ones that are, if you're seeing numbers like crazy, that's a great sign that you're going, that, that you're right with God, and he's showing you that time, he's showing you signs, if you're seeing 333s, 444s, 1111, and 111 and 144, and if you're seeing 555s five, 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 and 222 two, two, and you're seeing all these reoccurrences, not just not just looking at the time. I mean, yeah, if you stare at a clock, eventually it's, you're going to see that. But I'm saying, like, if you just, like, stumble across it on accident, or you see it other than a clock, and you just happen to see it, like, whatever, in many instances. Like, just now I saw 777 uh, painted on some guy's, Saint painted on some guy's um, door of his truck, of a broken-down truck. And I just happened to, of course, be walking by as, uh, as the... Um, as I glanced at the 777, um, which I think was part of a telephone number they put on there, but whatever, the point is I saw it. Coincidentally, there's a lot of coincidences going on, and I think that's a sign. Um, I'm not into numbers or numberology or, or numerology or whatever or anything like that. I'm just saying, like, I think, and, and I agree with Mark Hardy, that that's just a sign that you've been, that you've been, um, that, that you're aware and you're awake and God's sending you signs like, hey, wake up, time's up times times short or up i'm not sure which one but i don't feel like we have much longer at all um it's all god is in control and that's important to understand um i hope this message encourages someone um just keep looking up just don't let there's so many distractions right now especially the election they're trying their darndest to get your attention off off what's really happening and so of course it's a it's just a giant show they've already decided who's going to who's going to be the next leader uh, and it's it's just like God already knows since the beginning, since before the beginning of time, whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He knows since the beginning who would who would follow him and who would turn away, who would who would at the last minute give up, who would who would hold fast to the end, who would have the crown of life, who would have the crown of glory, who would have the crown of righteousness, who would have the martyr's crown, whatever. You guys just need to understand that. You know, he could come any time. No one knows the day or hour. Absolutely not. He could come any time, guys. And that's important to live every day holy. As holy as you possibly can. Yeah, we're going to screw up. We're going to stumble. But we'll continue on. And in the faith. 
and will and, and and will improve with time, depending on your level of cooperation, of course. But don't give in to the enemy. Don't give in to the fact that you're not wor- the the whole you're not worthy thing. If it bothers you, that's a pretty good sign. If you screw up honestly and you feel convicted and bothered by it, and you're asking for forgiveness and it's bringing you down, that's a good sign. Because the people that are self-righteous, like the Pharisees, they don't think they have to repent. They don't think they have to change. They don't feel bad about what they do. They think, nope, you know what? I'm a good person. So, if you feel convicted, that's a good sign. Just repent and, and continue on your walk. Yes, you will stumble, and some blows will be pretty heavy, depending on how, how, how uh, often you, you spiritually recharge. Like you need, you need to do the what what God calls you to do that day. Could be something really easy, like just read, because He knows that you're not at your best that day. Or it could be something as difficult as I want you to preach to someone that you've tried to preach to before, or something. So you never know until you're there, and you just got to trust in God because He has your back. He is with you if you give yourself to Him. So you guys take care and have a good one. Say bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> mhm. That's the stop